Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. This is my like, oh no, I'm not wearing any makeup, makeup look that I'm sort of going for at the moment. Which if you've watched me for a while you know, this is not my normal makeup. This is like, who have I become? What do you mean there's no colour on my face? Uh -huh. Where is my lipstick? Where is my eyeshadow? It's not, it does, it's not there. Oh, essentially being back at uni, I have not had very much time for anything. So this is the look I've been sporting the majority of the time. Um, which you may have noticed in some of my previous videos as well. So yes, I'm gonna show you how you do this to your face. Yeah. Do you forgive me? I am not a beauty guru, but maybe for this makeup that's a good thing. Because what foundation? What? What, what false lashes? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, here is my kind of lazy uni makeup routine. Woo! Just to preface this though, I'm aware that a lot of my products are more high end, so what I've done for you is left dupes in the description. That'll make you look exactly the same, um, but for not as much money. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Let's go. See, I really wanted to film this video like ages ago, but like during my like exams and essays, my face broke out so badly i was like ah my skin like completely cleared up and then my exam deadlines loomed in and i was like it's a horrible experience anyways let's do this i'm not wearing earrings one moment like how cute are these earrings the little elephants they're from accessorized but they're like five, five quid at the moment, I'm genuinely using like six products on my face and that's it. That's not very many if you know me well. Uh, I always do start off with curling my lashes because it makes a huge fucking difference. It's already like done half the job for me. Also, I'm just really into like not that much on my face, which is weird for me because I feel like Christmas and stuff is all like hella glam makeup and now I'm like, I don't actually have that much time. So, I absolutely always start with my eyebrows and I'm currently using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. For my brows I'm using a Sephora Pro Brow Precision Brush in Pretty. I do go in fairly heavy handed with my eyebrows um, because as you can see this is the colour of my hair naturally this not so much um, but it'll look a lot better when I've got my, eye my eyebrows my eyes on I really am of the opinion that like the more mascara the better you just can't go wrong because especially with this one I'm currently using the Dior Addict It Lash it's if you want a more high end mascara this is one to 100% like invest in like splurge on. It can just do no wrong, just look at it. Like for me at least, this is everything I want in a mascara because it, you can build it and build it and build it and it kind of looks more like fluffy and sort of feathery rather than like I've attached spiders to my eye, you know? In summer, this is generally what I would just leave my face as because if I'm more tanned, I just don't, I do not really want anything else on my face but because it's still January, <laughs> We must proceed. Because I'm back at uni, obviously, sleep has become significantly more questionable. Oh, I love this camera. It's so great. You can see all of the texture on my face. Wow, look at it. All of it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so attractive. I hope my boyfriend doesn't watch this one. <laughs> I'm actually not touching this, but I just want this bit of my face. Just calm the fuck down, you know? Um, so if anyone else is like suffering with like stress induced spots, water and sleeping a lot will help. This is Maybelline Fit Me in 10, which does not fit me because it's fucking not sunny. <laughs> and no, I haven't wet my beauty blender because who has the time? I'm not one of those girls. Ah, <laughs> props to them, but how? I just actually have a moment to just thank my mother for these jeans. Look, that's... You can't fake that. Like, you can't draw that on. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> I feel like that's blended in alright. I'm having an atrocious time with my skin, really, because, like, this entire bit goes so, so dry, and then this, it just, the texture picks up, and I've used... I don't buy high-end concealers ever. I just, I think it goes goopy too quickly. I just don't think it's worth it. 
but yeah it sort of sinks into like all of the like the dry skin there's literally nothing i can do about it like i piled my face with e45 cream doesn't work anybody have good suggestions for that i would honestly appreciate it very very much I've had the same my lips oh it's been it's been atrocious i i literally haven't been able to wear like nice lipsticks which makes me really sad but warmer months are coming please <laughs> next we have this i've had this for ages um but if you look after especially like powders you can have them for actually a really long time um i shouldn't tell you that but you can on the back it says i can have this for two years it, it, it lasts don't listen to sell by dates use your intuition i only stop using things if it like looks gross and just looks kind of grimy Intense as it does on camera. Yeah, I mean, I put ones up here. Also, when I'm doing my first aid of my cheekbones, I squeeze this brush like that, so then you can get right in there, and then I'll let you leave it, just like buff it out. <laughs> it looks like it's done nothing. Not gonna lie, I feel like blending has made me a more patient person. <laughs> the brush I'm using is just one I bought in Super Drug ages ago. But if anybody has any like recommendations for a really good blush brush, that's also that's more of a like an investment. Um, do let me know because I'm sort of thinking about replacing this because I don't know if it's the, the best thing I've ever used. You know, anyway, I'll just sort of take it all over my face and down my neck because. Summer, wood summer. Also when it is summer, I use so much SPS on my face, my face doesn't tan. Because being pale, or wrinkles. I mean, you make the choice. I wanted to be like, if in doubt, blend. And then my brother was like, Emma, it'd be so much better if you just said, if in doubt, blend it out. So, that's, that's stuck in my brain for ever. <laughs> cool. Um, Next, right, I have been using this baby. I got so excited when I ordered it. Also, the glossy stuff came like really, it came really quickly and in really nice packaging, so if anyone's wondering. But I am not very good at this because it's liquid. I've been using NARS orgasm, orgasm, orgasm for absolutely ages. So I do keep getting this little bit wrong. I looked like Madame de Pompadour the other day, which did give me a really good working title for like, um, cause I wanna make a film about her. It gave me a really good working title, but. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Bear with. Okay. Mm. It is a hundred percent like easiest to just tap it in with your finger, and if I'm doing this. I make sure not I go up because I've done it before I've gone down and that you can't you can't move it and then you look stupid so like creepy style Halloween I just think I look so much more like alive with blush on now <laughs> look at my eyes I don't think it was a great mascara because you need the tiniest little bit I think this is a good blush to have it's tiny it can go everywhere for you it's so aesthetically pleasing um but it is I think a bit hard to get, oh that was too much, a bit hard to get to grips with. I did try and use a beauty, beauty blender for it, but really not ideal. And then I've always wiped some of my hands, so I just kind of go in with that and try and make sure I look even. See, now I just look a bit like I've been in the cold. I don't think I look clown-like. Because I do worry about the wood blush, I think most people do. There we go. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to just rub it into my hands, that'll work. And then my last step is, because I've told you my lips are horrendous at the moment, I am currently using the Glossier Balm.com. But it, I didn't like it at first. I opened it, I was like, oh. You have a tiniest bit. It smells not great. Yeah, that's what threw me off. Oh, and I hate applying things with my fingers but I think it's very good. It's not, because sometimes I get it like where 
lip balms make your teeth feel really weird, like you get it on your teeth and like gook, goops up your teeth, it's disgusting. Um, I don't feel this as much with this. And then if you do put on too much, you can wipe it on your cuticles, which is what I've been doing, so I think that's working for me. So this for me at least is much more lazy makeup than what I've done in the past. I mean look, there is no highlight on my face. Who, who have I become? It's because I just do not have time for that at the moment and I just, I like this kind of like, ooh, how much makeup am I wearing? You won't know unless you watch the video. <gasps> I kind of think it goes with my aesthetic as a student, as what I'm going for at the moment anyways. So yes, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have enjoyed my face. Um, and if you have tried any of these products or products similar or more higher end, more lower end, please let me know. I would love to know how they worked for you. And yeah, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you guys very soon.